Now, Jason's going to join us here in a moment, and he's been on the show prior promoting some, let's just say, unusual uh, business ventures. Um, let's remind the folks of some of Jason's prior appearances. We're giving these kids a real chance at a real life. By scooping up all of them, and then you take all of these kids and you bring them out to a casino. You bring all these orphans out to a casino. That is an absolute misnomer. We do not take all of the children on field trips. We only take the older children the casinos. What do you mean? You're 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 going to sink the ship in the middle of the North Atlantic with everybody on board? As I mentioned, Birdman, we're offering an authentic experience, and part of that means providing a real, authentic, emulated disaster, and that's what we're offering our customers. Jason, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, Birdman. I just want to say that I still do not see anything controversial about anything I've promoted on your show in the past. I believe they are all legitimate capitalist ventures, and I have a new one that I hope you will support and not disparage as you have the other ideas I presented your audience in the past. I don't think I've disparaged your ideas, Jason. I'm just trying to prepare the audience for, you know, what you may have for them today so they understand. You know, you've had some very unusual I think you were doing more than that, Birdman. Well, how are things going with the Titanic recreation cruise? Can we move on, please? Yeah. Well, I mean, see, this is why I think you have to understand why I'm a little bit skeptical when you... Well, Birdman, your skepticism is about to be washed away when I lay this new idea on you. All right, well, tell us about your new idea, then. Well, Birdman, in the face of the Bud Light crisis, we have seized an opportunity to take advantage of the situation and help the average consumer at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. And what have you come up with, Jason? Well, Birdman, we have come up with our own beer label that we're offering to consumers, and the cost for a case of our custom beer label is free when you calculate the rebates and savings. You get to enjoy the same beer you always enjoyed for years. Well, I mean, are you using, you know, a typical recipe of one of these big brewers? I don't know how you give beer away for free, either. How do you make money if you're giving beer away for free to people? No, Birdman, you don't understand. We're not brewing beer, we're making beer labels. These labels are placed over the Bud Light label on your beer bottle or your beer can so no one knows you're actually drinking Bud Light. They all think you're drinking our delicious beer. Right now you can buy Bud Light and get a rebate that's greater than the cost of a case of Bud Light beer. So when you apply that with the cost of the labels, you're basically getting free beer and no one is the wiser Birdman. You know, Jason, that's actually a pretty good idea. I'm kind Uh of... Ah, so now you can apologize for trash talking me in the past, Birdman. Well, I mean, again, I think some of the ideas you've had in the past may be warranted. Go ahead, you can say it. Jason, I think you have a great idea here. But in the past, there's no question... Come on, you can do it. Look, Jason, there's no question that this could work out for you. Come on, Birdman, just two words. Come on. Jason, I just want... You can do it. Come on. Okay, Jason, I'm sorry, okay? Does that help you feel a little better now? I'm very sorry. I think this is a great idea. I think you're going to make a lot of money with this. I think you could... It's promoting uh, the idea of drinking beer for free without uh, giving any undue publicity to Bud Light and not normalizing them. I think it's just fantastic. Is that okay for you now? You happy? Well, there's really no need to apologize, Birdman. I'm not a petty man. It's water under the bridge, and I'm very humbled by your kind words and support on this exciting new venture. Well, you know, it actually really is a good idea, Jason, so, you know. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you thought I was going to reveal some kind of crazy thing where people get hurt, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, I kind of did. And now I mean, you think I'm a genius. Thank you, Birdman. Thank you very much. Well, I wouldn't say you're a genius, but... Did he drop the phone or something? What happened? Ma, Ma you're not going to believe this. He likes me. 
I don't think he realizes he's dropped the phone. Good man, he likes me. We had this whole conversation. He said I was smart. He said he liked my idea. He said I was smart and a genius. He apologized, Ma. He actually apologized. He said he was wrong about everything. He said I was right. He wished me good luck. He was sorry about the whole Titanic thing and what he did to me there. No, no, we didn't talk about getting the old people drunk from the kids in the casino, but he said I was smart, Ma. He likes me, Ma. He really likes me. And I'm busting, Ma. I'm busting. Do you have any Edmonds? I'm coming over there. I need some Edmonds. I'm busting, Ma. I'm busting. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah, Jason, I think you dropped the oh, phone. Oh, I'm sorry, Birdman. Thank you very much again for your encouragement. I have to go over to my mother's now. She's uh, She needs my help. Sure, Jason. Well, you have a great night, okay? Thank you, Birdman. <laughs>